basically I'll just have you introduce yourself, who you're with, and then just tell me what you're going to talk about on Friday. Okay. So uh, I'm Milan Thacker. I'm an applications engineer at National Instruments. Uh, this is a Denso robot, and we're using a C Rio to talk to the motor controller. It's an Internet of Things application. So this is actually talking over Ethernet, which means if you've plugged it into the Internet, you can plug the robot controller into the Internet, and you can access it from pretty much any location on the globe. So if you're in China and you want to control this robot in America, you can do that. This robot works off of QR codes. So the C Rio reads the QR code and then sends the coordinates of the position to the uh, motor controller. So say I want it to go to the front right, I show that to the camera, and the robot will move to the front right. Uh, you can link a whole bunch of sequences together as well. So when you link a whole bunch of sequences, say I want it to go down left after it looks down there. So I have it go down right, and it sees the down left, and it moves down left. So what, what kind of real world applications would this, would this have? Uh, it would allow you to kind of access things from a distance and do vision processing. So say you have a robot uh, in China where you didn't want to have like an actual, you could have the controller there, but you wanted a master controller in like the center of your factory. So you can use the Serio as the master controller and have the robot control on its own. So this is just communicating over the network. Use that network communication, and as that robot read things, it would do different things. But the processing would be all be done on the Rio instead of in the motor controller, which is a lot more complex to process uh, to program. 